Williams is the host of Dolly Vision on YouTube. Check it out, folks. Uh, uh, he travels around the country covering all types of cases like this. What is up, my beautiful people of YouTube? It is good to see so many of you jumping in the room so quick this morning. I didn't know so many people would be awake. But if you're just tuning in, make sure you hit that like button. And Breezy, thank you so much for gifting the membership. Okay, so Dolly's up early this morning. Damn, that is crazy in itself, okay? But I fell asleep last night. So I apologize to everybody that was supposed to tune in to Dolly Uncensored for our late night panel channel. Dolly went to late night sleep, but I am up early this morning. You know, we talked a little bit last night about the scamming that was going on. The people that was responsible for it. Definitely Andrew. Definitely Hunter played his part in it. In scamming people on the internet. Some of us donated money to it. Nobody apparently got a refund. So as I talked about it last night about people not getting a refund, even more turtles hit me up last night. 
So I woke up to messages this morning saying, hey, yeah, I donated $75 to them. When the cash app, when Hunter's cash app went down, people from here started donating to Andrew. None of them people got a refund. And if you didn't tune into the video last night, we showed screenshots of what refunds look like on Cash App. And not one payment did he have did he refund back to any person. Even one of the people that were in his chat, he told them, oh, I didn't refund your money. I'm going to do that at a later date. Why not? Why didn't you refund it when you refunded everybody else's money? Because you needed that money and that person was there. And if you said, oh, that person's in the chat saying I didn't get my money, of course. Then everybody knows you scammed everybody. I heard H got $2,500. We had one lady alone here hit me up and say she donated $1,000. We've had people donate hundreds, 75, tens, 50s. We don't know what that accumulated to. But here's the thing. Far as we know this morning, Ali is still in the hospital. She's still in ICU. They haven't pulled the plug or anything on her that we've heard, but it's still it's still early. But now the new grift is this. This is what I'm hearing. They have created a GoFundMe. Okay. A GoFundMe to help bury this lady that's not dead, which is just absolutely crazy. Now I'm gonna tell you one thing Dolly ain't doing. I ain't donating to this. I'm definitely not. I don't trust anything that's going on with these people right now. The only thing we know for certain is that Ali is in the hospital. That's it. We don't know if she's really brain dead. We don't know the circumstances of her being in the hospital. All this stuff we know is because what we've been told by Andrew, by Hunter, and these people are absolute liars. We can't believe anything they say. Hunter, girlfriend, not pregnant, not pregnant with a single baby, not pregnant with a double baby, okay? You give them money, and they come up here totally shit on the internet. We don't need your fucking money. We don't need nothing from you. We're able to take care of ourselves. We, do, we ain't behind no rent, none of this. And don't give really no solid update on the condition of Ali. You know, the whole stream was supposed to be update everybody on what is going on with Ali. Not a stream on defend your lies and F you, keep your money, people. But don't return any of the money. So, if you don't need the internet's help, then why create a GoFundMe? Because now you're asking the internet for help. And just right after, clearly, the internet has been scammed by these same people. It makes absolutely no good sense to me. Now, here's the thing. If there wasn't this scamming going on, and definitely prayers to Allie, it, it sucks that her family is doing things like this, and her ex is doing things like this while she's in such bad condition in the hospital. If she wakes up, I hope she elbow smashes all of them. And Ali's a pretty good sized woman. I think she could just manhandle these people. But I'm I'm praying for Ali like I've been. It's another day. She's still here. And every day that is, that is a good day. Okay. That's more time for her body to rest, more time for her body to heal. <clears throat> this don't mean that Ali's out the water. You know, she could still unfortunately pass away. You know, and we'll deal with that bridge when we get to it. It just sucks that there's so many shady people surrounding Ali. Because I think as a whole, when we heard this, we wanted to help, right? Everybody wanted to help, even Dolly, right? And then we just totally get shit on. You try to do a good deed and it, and it, it, it completely slaps you in the face. You know, so when they when they put this out, I don't see me donating to this thing right away. Now, if for some reason Ali passes or something of that nature, then maybe I would even share the link because I feel sorry for Ali. But at this point, I do not feel sorry for any of these people. Okay. I'm not even concerned about interviewing Hunter anymore. He's a liar. Why do I want to hear a bunch of lies? 
That's just not what I wanted. I wanted to hear, sit down with this man and try to get some truth. But look, if, if his daddy's a con, a robber, and he's getting up here and he's scamming, every picture is him flashing money, guns. Do, do I really, do we really need to talk to that boy? We know we can't trust what he's saying. He, he, he came up on the internet. And he just completely made himself a liar. It makes him look like, you know, he may know things in the Summer Wells case. If he's sitting up here lying and changing the story, why change the story? Why come up here and try to make money off that girl's back? It just don't make good sense to me. You know, what's the new scam? Well, the new scam is they're raising money, I guess, to bury Allie. This is what I'm hearing this morning. They got a GoFundMe set up. And they're trying to raise money. But the thing is, is Ali's still in the hospital, you know? And like I said, this information, we're not, it ain't like a doctor's came up here and said, YouTube, Ali's brain dead. Okay. It's almost like they're wishing death on this lady for a few bucks. You don't see them out here. Pray for my mom. Pray for my mom. Pray for my sister. We're going to buy our side. You don't, you don't hear that. Okay. They look half drugged up. They just like, F you, YouTube, you're harassing our family. Nobody's harassing your family. If you're going to ask for help, which Andrew was, Hunter was, then it is our fucking business. We, it, it, we didn't insert ourselves into your business. Your family came out here crying about getting kicked out of a house, pregnancies, people brain dead, okay? We didn't attack your family. For the most part, YouTubers were leaving y'all completely alone. That didn't bother. You don't see no Molly showing up, no Betty showing up, no Dolly showing up. You don't see nobody showing up, nobody calling you, harassing you. You brought this stuff on yourselves. Most people didn't even know Ali was in the hospital and would have never knew she was in the hospital if it wasn't for these people trying to steal from the Internet. Imaginary twins. And listen, what's going on with them people? Thank God that girl ain't pregnant. Okay? Thank little baby Jesus this morning. That girl ain't pregnant. It, look. Hunter, you don't want to be nothing like your daddy, man. You're going down the wrong path. Wrong path. I know I could probably say that for days. And you ain't going to listen to shit I say. Man, you're going to end up in prison. Or in a box, okay? I hope and I pray to God it's prison, okay? I'd much rather see you locked behind bars than they had to bury you at 18 years old because you think you're a little street dude. The, the street don't pay, apparently, okay? The streets must not pay as good as they used to pay if you're out here hustling and scamming off the internet. You know, it, it's, it's, it's not a good look, especially with your mama sick and people really trying to help out right now because y'all really ain't even hit the big money part yet you know wait till she's gone you know wait till she's gone um no one donate everyone who sees it report it now listen they may have a, a legitimate reason you know they may have a legitimate reason i don't suggest anybody reporting anything okay what I suggest, if you don't believe them and you think they're liars, don't donate to it. Okay? Don't do because if they post, hey, we need money, we're in a tight situation, we may have to end up burying our mom, then that ain't a lie. They may end up having to do that. Right? But they they clearly came up here and said they didn't need nothing from the internet. Nothing. None of your business. We don't want to update y'all on this. This is a private matter. It became private. It was it was a public matter that became private. Okay. All of a sudden with no updates when we started finding out everything was a lie. See what I'm saying? They didn't want to give no more updates once they knew they were busted in their lives. Why is that? Maybe because the updates we're getting may not be true. She may not be brain dead. She may be really sick fighting for her life in there. Or that could be true. 
when you start mixing truths and lies like Andrew Hills does, it's hard to distinguish what's real and what ain't real. And that's what these con people are good at doing. Confusing, confusing you. And look, you got to have a heart of gold to feel sorry for Andrew. Okay. I'm just saying that if you donated to Andrew, you are a saint. Just look at that dude. You knew giving your money right off the rip, you were giving your money to a, a crack stem. Okay. The man looks like a crack stem with two legs. We all knew that and we didn't care. Right. That shows you, you got a heart when you're like, okay, I know you, I know you are effed up, but still we're going to give to you. What did we really expect? I mean, what, what did I expect from these people? I don't know. Maybe a bad person to be good for one time in their life. But if you've got a lifetime full of badness, you, you, your ass ain't changing. You know, some people can. I know people that were terrible people that are really good people in society today go to church, raise families. But you seen them bitches 20 years ago. They were the worst person on the planet. So people do change. I know that. I know it's possible. Um. But under some circumstances, this man's been a lifetime scammer, a lifetime con artist. You know, you heard the criminal stuff about him robbing people and taking them up in the woods and beating a man with sticks and shit, trying to tell the man they were going to kill him over a little bit of pocket change. So Andrew Hiltz is the kind of dude that would, you know, try to rob you for the change that you got in your pocket. Now, I could tell you now with him with just a stick. He must have robbed somebody that was under a hundred pounds. Okay. There's just no way with a stick. I would take that stick from that man. And I ain't even going to tell you, I'm pretty sure y'all could figure out where I would put that stick. Okay. <laughs> he would not get but one swing. That is it. All right. That would be it. It would be from that point. It'd be like you got attacked by a baby bear and I'm just going to maul you apart. So to see things like this and him be proud of it, be proud of it. Yeah, I was busy robbing a bitch. Listen, you a punk. You's a punk. You didn't rob no man. Okay. You didn't rob no man. Come up to me with a stick. Come up to me with a stick and try to rob me and see what happens to you. I suggest that. So to be up here like you, like you don't even like you just a grind ball, slime ball. And you're rubbing that shit off on your kid. Worst parent. You get the worst parent of the year on YouTube award. Okay. Already in the years it started. We ain't but what? 16 days into the 2024. And you done been declared the worst person in, in the true crime thing already in 16 days. Okay. It didn't even take you long. To mess your whole reputation up on the internet. You didn't come up here with a good one. Anyway, you came up here with, as a suspect in the disappearance of a missing little girl. That's why anybody has any clue to who you are, right? That's it. And then you probably don't know shit and you use that to exploit and take and take and take and figure out ways to scam and hustle people on the internet. It is foul. It is disgusting. And I can't support this family anymore. I can't encourage people to support them anymore. I am going to continue to tell people to pray for Allie. And let's hope that she makes it so she can get out and she can see what her family is doing while she was sick. Okay. Because I'm sure Allie would not appreciate what's going on. Uh, you didn't see no grifting going on when Allie was in charge. Okay. When Allie was running the show, we went running into internet scams and things. Allie, it, it was awake. She wouldn't let Andrew Hiltz be doing this shit. Okay. I met Allie. She's a protective woman. She wouldn't, she wouldn't let Hunter talk. She wouldn't let Hunter talk to me. I offered to pay the woman. Okay. She was like, nah, she was never mean, never hateful. So just, a mother that cared. She didn't want her son getting in trouble. Didn't want to, didn't want the hassle. And soon as she gets sick, what goes on? They spin this shit. They spiral it into the biggest circus we've seen coming into 2024 so far. I say that because trust me, it's going to get crazier 
with stuff on the internet. The internet is the craziest pray place ever. You know, um, I heard two thousand dollar and Andrew Hilton eights got new computers, new headphones. Well, he got that, and and that was one of those things. Like, you know, usually I'm up late streaming with you guys late at night. So during the day, you know, I sleep. I run my business. Me and PJ take care of that during the day, and then I stream. And I'm usually up late. So I usually sleep in this morning. I got up pretty early. So, you know, we got this loser with no job, right? Talking about, oh, it must be good to sleep, be able to sleep in. Well, want to run a YouTube channel. I run a pretty successful business, okay? So you eventually I need to sleep. I'm not on drugs, okay? People not on drugs go to bed, right? They get up, they drink coffee, they do what they handle their their daily shit. They don't scream and cuss at their kids over a damn pizza pocket. Okay. It's insane to me. And I don't realize how much of a world of trouble you think you're causing yourself. But I know this with all the people that probably check them DMs. Okay. Hold on. Let me check the DMs. Something's coming in. You know how we be having breaking news on Dolly. First thing in the morning. I think it's too early for this, but I'm checking P I'm checking PJ. Give me one second. Okay, and we have the GoFundMe. And we have it. We have it in the Okay, let's see. Let's see what this says. Let's check out the GoFundMe. Now I ain't suggesting anybody whatsoever go report this. All right. Because we truly, truly don't know what's going on, all right? But I'm going to tell my turtles, till we know what's going on, till they give us an update on Ali, we do nothing, okay? We do nothing as a channel for these people yet until they supply us with some information and legitimate information, not just some she's gone, she's brain dead, she's, you know, Something solid. Now, I still pray for Ali, and I hope this is not the case. If it turns out to be the case, then maybe our feelings change just a little bit. But right now, these people are in the midst of a big-ass scandal and making um, GoFundMes. All right. All right I'm going to read this. I'm going to pull this up in just a second. I'm trying to figure out... Uh, Reject all. Okay. They're trying to raise $2,500. Hello, my name is Amber. I am a creator. I go from family business. I'm blessed. Okay, let me share this. Just let me share it. Um. Let's see. It breaks my heart to say that um, Allison is currently in the ICU on life support and the doctors have informed us that she may never wake up. Okay. Even if she does, she won't be the same. That don't mean she's brain dead. Okay. See, y'all are saying the, the doctor saying she's brain dead. Now the doctor saying she may never wake up. And if she does, she may never be the same. That is a hard thing to tell until she wakes up. And the, that is possible. If she does wake up, she might not be the same with the lack of oxygen and things of that nature. Um, even if she does, she won't never be the same. Allie, we know and love. She leaves behind three children. Her grandmother. That countless woman is dead. She ain't left behind nobody. She has not left behind nobody. She is alive. Stop killing this woman before she's fucking dead. Look, if my family does this to me, I will come back and haunt you bitches. Okay? I will come back and haunt you. You put me in the grave before I'm there. Do not put me in the grave before I'm there. Holy shit. She leaves. She hasn't left behind. Take her grandkids to go see her. Okay? Look. let the, It's better them see them with a tube in her mouth and get to say goodbye to their grandma or... Loved one did not. Trust me, I was so glad I was there with my mother. It, it was misery. It's the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. But I'm glad I had that time. I am so glad I had that time. They're trying to kill this woman before she's dead. Oh, my Jesus. Did, have they raised any money? Have they raised any money? Goal was $2,500. Somebody's donated something. Hold on. Um, 
She leaves behind three children, her grandmother, mother, two sisters, and her best friend and wife. Allison was in, um, currently waiting to become a grand, eagerly waiting to become a grandmother. Hold on, I got to take my glasses off, guys. But unfortunately, she didn't have any have any health insurance. We are only asking for twenty five hundred to cover her cremation and memorial expenses. If anyone finds it in their hearts to also donate towards the medical expenses, it would mean the world to her family and me. I'm sure she had Medicaid. I'm pretty sure. If she was living in Section 8 housing, I'm sure she got some type of assistance from the government. Um, we appreciate any help we can get during this difficult time. Thank you in advance for your generosity. Okay, and or, that's the organizer of Kingsport, Tennessee. It looks like nobody has donated it to it as of yet. Okay, so they have a $2,500 goal. And that is a good picture of her, right? We don't got very many good pictures of uh, Ali. They haven't got anything. It don't look like there looks like there's one little green notch up there, but I'm not for sure. So, I mean, if we had funeral memorials, she's not dead. Now, if they came up here and said they said she's brain dead, but they're saying she can may wake up. But at the same time, you're raising money for a funeral to a lady that may wake up. Make that make good sense to me, people. Make it make good sense. That is like insane that is insane and then look we've donated before and it was a scam okay this is written up and, and this look i had to admit ali when she they showed ali she looked really sick she looked like a woman that might not make it okay so i, I that's why they were able to do the first hustle is because everybody, um, believe, you know, believed this. Is the doctor saying she's brain dead or the doctor saying when she wakes up, she not might not be the same if she wakes up. I mean, there's a lot of different things that are being said. I don't want to get into the people. This ain't about who did it. It's just somebody in their family or friends set it up. I mean, it says the person's up there. You can go right up to the GoFundMe and find it and check it out. Um, I'm not trying to single nobody out. I'm trying to call the whole thing out as a whole. You cannot bum money on this woman's name until she, she is gone. And I don't mean gone like you think she's gone till she is deceased. Until they take her out to the hospital, declare her dead, put her in a bag, put her in a slab, and then... You can start raising money for funerals and services. You can't raise money for somebody that may wake up. It's definitely confusing and it definitely, it ain't the right thing to do. It ain't even worded right. Why don't you just tell the truth? She's in the hospital. She's sick. We're low on funds. And if something happens, we need this money to move forward. Like you don't have to, to, to talk about this lady like she's dead. Um, they were offered a heavy discount or free, uh, cremation. I know that is what, who was it? Toaster oven went up to the hospital, which I don't encourage anybody to call the hospital, go to the hospital, do any of these things, right? Don't be harassing the family, any calling their phones, hitting up their messengers, any of those things. Apparently they, they're not, they're not handling things in the best way, in the most honest way. It's just one little scam after a hustle. And look, I, this could be generally honest. I, I don't have no way of knowing. But what if, what if Andrew hurt Allie? All right, Hunter, you didn't help your mama, okay? The internet had thousands of people watching, ready to help at the drop of a dime. People that wouldn't give up shit were giving up shit, okay? And y'all did that. You, you slapped the internet right in the face. You slapped, just slapped us in the face. 
We were trying to be good to your family. We were trying to be good to you people. And, and we got a slap in the face. Now, look, I'm, you know, I'm one of the people I'll forgive, even though you slap me. You know what I'm saying? A snake is going to be a snake. You reach down to pick up a snake, it's going to bite you. What do you think it's going to do? It's, it's a fucking snake, right? And this is going to be the case if we help again and Allie wakes up, okay? This is say we donate $2,500 a day to the cremation. We pay for the cremation. We pay for her services, all right? And it's bullshit. And she wakes up. Do you think they're going to refund me my money? Do you think they're going to send our money back? We just learned last night they didn't refund nothing. They kept every bit of it. Said they didn't need it. As far as, far as we know, we've already donated over $2,000 to them. As far as we know. Now, I don't know if that's a perfect number because people could lie and say, yeah, I donated and didn't. OK, but I've had people hit me up in the range of two grand already. Now, if they if they would need the help, I don't want to shit on anybody that needs help. I'm all about helping people. That's it makes me feel good inside. That's why I was willing. That's how I got caught up in this shit. But right now, until there's some transparency and what is going on. Absolute transparency. I say, don't mess with it. I don't want to see anybody get ripped off any more money. I don't want to see our money going to drugs and alcohol, into firearms, into shit that's in legal street activity things. I thought our money was going to go to help to save a home for a kid. And that's why I was able to get behind it. I thought this boy needed his daddy. I didn't know the boy needed $2,500 so he can go buy him a Glock, okay? And if you're running in the streets like that, you may need that, Hunter. You may need that gun for sure because you, you carry yourself like that in them worlds and them circles and you can't write a cohesive sentence and you're a white boy saying this end shit like it's okay. Let me tell you this, Hunter. You could talk like that in that little bumpkin ass town you in right now in Rogersville. But I guarantee you, you come here to Norfolk and you let that first black person catch you talking like that and you will not make it back to Rogersville. They will turn you back into a white boy in a matter of minutes. OK, you, you, you're straight right on up. <laughs> you're straight right. To we don't play that fake shit around here. We don't do that. There's real killers. There's real murderers. There's real monsters here. And they don't play that silly white boy shit. Think I'm gangster stuff. Kid, you're a kid. Change your life, bro. Do you want to end up in prison? Do you want to end up dead? Because a real person, they're not going to play those little kid games with you. You're going to get out here and think it's okay to scam the internet and you're going to scam somebody on the street and they're going to find you shot up. In a car somewhere. Now, don't I like we cover true crime? We see all kinds of kids all the time getting hurt behind their lifestyle. You know, it's terrible. Let's see what this says. We ain't encouraging anyone to report anything. Definitely don't go reporting anything. What we encourage people is to not donate anything to these people until there is some transparency. Okay, until there is transparency. Now, she may pass away and they may really need this GoFundMe. So I'm not encouraging anybody to report their page or do anything like that. What I'm telling my people, my viewers right now is, look, let's don't get behind this until there is transparency. And we know that our money is going directly to help Ali. Okay. If it's her funeral service, her thing, but it, it has to go directly to that. I don't suggest any of our turtles give any more money to people we don't know who they are. Okay? Nothing. Not a penny, not a nickel, not a dime, not a dollar. Definitely for some of my bigger supporters that like to donate in big chunks. Please, guys, 
right? We just don't know where that's going. And I know it's the right thing, even with them scamming and things, if it helps Allie. That's why when I say once we figure out that everything is on the up and we know for a fact that this is going to either help Allie recover or to have a service for Allie, then well, let's just stay away from it. He is definitely the boy that cried wolf. Okay. And this is what this does, because when you really need something, now everybody's like, oh, I ain't helping you. You know, and, and who did that? And who, who did that? It could be anyone who set up this GoFundMe page, right? I could have set it up, you know, but I didn't. It says who it is and, to, you know, it can links it to the person and shit. But, you know, you, I don't know that person. I don't know who the cash app was. And as soon as I find out this cash app belongs to the girl's boyfriend. And he looks like some gangster dude that's been in a bunch of trouble. So I'm like, I just don't trust any of it anymore. You know, whatsoever. Your dad died on We had him cremated for 750 recently. Well, I don't know what they got going on. You know, and what did they do with the money that was donated? Maybe we show us some screenshots of the money you already got. Right? Why can't we see screenshots? You want to, Andrew wants to show fake screenshots of his cash app that he refunded, which we know he didn't. Why can't we see screenshots of what we sent to the, the LL Bam Bam shit? Okay? Because we don't know how much money they got. They might not need no money. There's no transparency. And then when we did that, they were like, yeah, I got somewhere over $500. Fuck them. I don't know. You know, they didn't need it. They did. They just, it was, it was super bad. Now, are we entitled to know this information? No. Right. We're not. But like I said, they came out with it. We didn't. You didn't see YouTubers start jumping up here going, Allie's in the hospital and starting a bunch of fucking shit. It, that didn't happen. Um, no fancy urn, no nothing. Look, it is expensive. It, it's going to be expensive on them. And we don't know what the situation is. We don't know what kind of medical coverage. They were like, if you want to cover the medical bills, you know, and it's just like, there's no, how do we know there's medical bills? How do we know she don't have insurance? How do we know she ain't covered under Medicaid? She was there already getting government assistance through housing. So that means she's low income. And if she's low income, that means she's eligible for, for Medicaid, Medicare, whatever the hell they give you. You know what I'm saying? So that covers the hospital bills. Is it just more ways? And you look at this, Hunter don't even live there. Okay. The people that live there is the daughter and her boyfriend, which, you know, he can't, he ain't supposed to be there anyway. So they're probably going to end up having to get out of that house. And, it, and even if Ali came back, it probably violates her lease having certain people living under the roof and shit of that nature. I mean, I don't, I don't know the circumstances. I don't know exactly what her section eight HUD, whatever they got. I don't need what's going on because like I said, what can we believe? What honest person has came out here and spoke? People are so negative. And, and in this, they, they, this woman dead to them. She dead. Like they got less hope than Don Wells and Candace. They'll see you at the resurrection, Allie. Okay, they'll see you at the resurrection. They done wish death on this lady. They didn't look at her. They're like, if Allie dies, this is a come up. That is how much you care about your loved one and your family member. That it's just a way to come up on some money. And I can tell you this: when Allie's gone, she's gone forever. This money ain't gonna last you forever. That's for sure. But when Allie leaves, she's never coming back. So you can you get one come up off of her. And that's horrible. That is horrible. And, and when things like this happen, sometimes we see the best come out of people. And people become stronger and stand together. And families get tighter. They build crazy bonds behind people passing away. They put it beside differences. And, and that's normal families. Like, Wow. Wow. And, and, and there's nobody in the family going to stand up for this. Nobody, nobody's going to speak out that, hey, I, I wouldn't let you sit here and, and bury one of my family members before they were dead. 
I'd be up here being like, guys, pray with me. Let's pray. Miracles happen. They don't believe in none of that. You know, it's the whole, yep, she gone. They're like Summer Wells. Gone. Gone. Just everybody gone and shit. And a lot of people think that we have lost sight of Summer Wells. Not one little bit. Not one little bit. I think this is why people are so furious over what's going on. It's partially because of Summer Wells. So I don't think anybody's lost sight of Summer Wells. I even have more plans searching. I I think it's time that we we put a little pressure and see if we can get another search going. Big search. Put by the authorities back in place to search for Summer Wells. Now, I know that funding might be one of those things. And maybe, you know, people can donate to Hawkins County for them a search for Summer Wells. Because something, we don't want it to stop. We don't want the case to go cold. There's too many people out here that care, okay? And if nobody speaks up, nobody stands up, nobody makes no noise, these police are going to move on to something else. They're going to investigate something else, and we won't hear nothing for 20 years or until somebody stumbles across a bone or something somewhere. So something has to change in what's going on, right? And I think a lot of this has to do with, I hate to say it, the Internet. The internet has muddied up this case so bad, so terribly bad. There's so many misinformation and lies. Just, it's crazy. But the truth is this. This little girl is gone. And there's only a few people that really know what happened. Without them few people talking... Or without us finding something that leads us to the person that done this to Little Summer, there won't be no answers. So I can tell you now, I'm going to be back down there searching to the best of my capabilities, which is just me, right? Asking around, snooping around. Somebody knows something. Somebody has said something. Nobody in this planet just vanishes unless aliens get you. And then if they do, they usually leave your boots behind, all right? If your shoes are there and you're gone, aliens 100% got you, all right? You're gone. You're somewhere in the, the universe drinking 40s with the grays. But if you if you leave barefooted and or with shoes on and they find your shoes, you, you, you're done. Um, go F them for you, Dolly. Look, one-eyed flow. <clears throat> Just be careful, you know, guys. I know it's a sad story about what's going on with Allie, but these people are not being transparent. They're hustling and scamming. They're not even being nice about it. They're not, you know, they're kind of being shitty towards the internet people. Mind your own fucking business. Y'all been, you know, look, people just wanted to help your family. We wouldn't even have knew if they hadn't came out here and scammed everybody out of thousands of dollars right off the rip in a day. Imagine if that scam would have went on for a little while. If Stacy, thank you so much. Um, Stacy gifted one Dolly membership. Get on the gift and train. Thank you so much, Stacy. And if you got a membership, if you're new, got a new turtle shell, turtle, make sure you thank Stacy and welcome, guys. Look, there's 1,315 of you in here. I appreciate all the likes and all the support. So make sure y'all hit that like button. It's been helping bring new people in. The algorithm hates my face. But lately, since y'all like it, they've been having to share me. Okay? They've been having to share this ugly face right here. And that's thanks to each and every one of you guys hitting that like button. All right? It helps a lot in that aspect. So, don't think you're doing it just to do it. It actually helps. I still think some of disappeared has something to do with the church. Okay? Now, I have to say, there are some weird individuals at the church. That does, but weird, does that make you a kidnapper or does that make you the, you know, the big P word or anything like that? We have all kinds of weird, eccentric people in this world that are not monsters. Now, the flute guy, he's weird. Okay, I met the Pied Piper. He's a little weird. There's Robin. She's a sweet lady. Little, little strange, you know, 
oh, sometimes when people are over religious, it scares me, right? I'm a Christian person. I believe in God, little baby Jesus, everything. But when you're super over, overly like, you know, like maybe you've got a glow that you're so religious, it kind of, it, it kind of scares me a little bit because it's a little Kool Aid ish, okay? Like a little Kool Aid, but you know, I've seen the lady. She seems like a really nice, sweet lady. Like, she don't look like somebody that's running around snatching babies, okay? Because I have been in close proximity to the lady. And shes I've heard her talk, and she don't seem like a let-me-go-snatch Summer. I could see why Summer liked her. She's, she's kind of bright. She's kind of uplifted. She's kind of happy. And if you're a kid, of course, you're going to gravitate towards people that are smiling and happy. You don't want to sit with a kids like joy. Kids like to be happy. They like to play. You know, Don and Candace got that grumpy, miserable ass look to them. Uh, Lynn, thank you for getting a membership. Make sure you thank her if you got a membership from Lynn. So, of course, she's going to grab it gravitate towards Robin. You know, she's a sweet lady. She appears that way anyway. I've never sat down and talked to her, but I've been in right there with her while she's talking to other people. So, and she seems like a sweet lady. Um, like they had a big reef that was on the tree at the lake and they were, they were going to throw everything away, but I think she took the reef down. Right. And she was going to save it as a keepsake for summer. If summer was ever found or something of that nature. Okay. I don't want to say nothing that's wrong. But then she got a bunch of shit from the internet, so she brought it back. And I was there when she brought it back to the lakes. I was at Warrior's Path that day when Robin was out there. I went to the church, okay? I didn't attend a service of the church. I didn't go in there with no spy pins. Or I just went to the church to check the church out. While we were there, I did see a bobcat, though. A big-ass bobcat. And I was like a... And uh, PJ was like, oh, look, it's a little bobcat. I was like, look, you do not try to pet a bobcat. That bobcat will attack the shit out of you. This is a, you know, it's a little baby cougar. Little baby cougar there. So. But, you know, I've heard a lot of people say that this church is a cult and things of that nature. It. I don't know. Like I said, I ne I've never attended a service at their church. Um, people are quick to jump to some cult stuff, right? But I don't think the church, if anything, I don't understand why some of the church people are still helping. You know what I'm saying? I get it. They feel sorry for Don and Candace, and there's really no proof that they did it. But I, there is some strange things with the church people. But I ain't going to blame nothing on no church people. Because, it, because look, the church people may be strange, but they're not making Don and Candy, Candace's story so inconsistent. Okay? They're doing that. That's nothing to do with the church people. I don't think any of the church people did anything to the summer. What would, it, what would they do to her? Send her off to a missionary somewhere and... and Maybe that's why they shaved her head. I, I don't know. I've always just thought that they shaved her head. And I know this is another one. You know, a lot of people about this head shaving thing. It's because she had lice. I mean, you live in the country. You ain't the cleanest people. You don't have good hygiene. She gets lice. She has long hair. They shave her hair off because they can't get rid of the lice. Now, if you ain't, if your kid... If you ain't constantly taking care of yourself, you will never get rid of lice. Never. It'll just keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. So, you know, I've seen people soak their heads in mayonnaise and, and shave their head to the bone to try to get rid of lice. And I think that was what was going on is they, they had a case of lice in that house. And that probably explains why Candace cut her hair why the boys had their hair shaved down, why they shaved Summer's head down, is they were probably trying to fight this lice infestation they had going on in their house. I almost guarantee that. You, you're not going to see girls with their heads shaved bald like that that young unless they got, got some lice. 
It ain't the first time I've seen somebody shave their kid's head that had head lice. Boys, girls, you know. Um, now, if you're a clean person and you was to get lice and have long hair, of course, you can treat it. Don't have to cut your hair off. Two weeks later, treat it again and so on until there's not no pest in your head, right? But if you got dirty hair, you're not bathing but once a week, and you're doing that with your daddy, okay? I don't think they were too concerned about the condition of her hair. We've seen her with nappy hair, dirty hair. And we heard Hunter, you know, get up here and say, well, how clean they were. I don't think that to be the case, man. We see images of her where she's not very clean, where she's not very well kept. So he really went on the defense for Don and Candace, really, mostly Candace. It sounded like he, whatever, he, if he was lying, if he wasn't lying, or what was going on, he was pretty much speaking really highly of Don and Candace. Oh, they ain't dirty. They had the air conditioning on. It wasn't hot. That's totally different than what we got. So we know right here he's told two different stories. He's came out the first time we've seen the kid in two years, and he's just scammed probably a couple thousand dollars off of YouTube using Summer's name. And then the proof was leaked that they knew going in using Summer's name, people would give them that money. We need somebody to come out, maybe grandma, somebody that's transparent. You know, I'm sure grandma is maybe the one, the only one to tell us the actual facts. Grandma told everybody right off the rip, Hunter won't, didn't, wasn't pregnant. She ain't having twins. Grandma was truthful. Okay, grandma was like, um, nope. Because you probably, that lady's probably comes from a different era where she ain't grimy and slimy and ain't going to lie for some internet shit. She probably don't care about it. Don't make no difference to her. And it would be great if she would come out and give the internet an actual update on her daughter. You know, um, the rest of them seem like this is a money grab. So... Until I see otherwise, I'm not, I'm not willing, I'm not willing to help no more. The focus is summer. Definitely, focus has always been summer. The focus will continue to be summer. This is just some clown shit that is going on with inside of this. Now, in this story, Allie is a player in this story. This was Candace's friend. This is who Candace was hanging out with at the time. Her son was there. That's the reason we are speaking on Summer Wells, Alley. This is all connected into the, the missing little girl that is Summer Wells. It's going on three years. Okay. Three years. That is three years too long. Um, crime critters on the farm, Daisy, and possibly a pregnancy. Now, from my understanding, the sister is pregnant, all right? Which these people have nothing to do with what's going on in the Summerwell's case. The sister won't dare, you know, blah, blah, blah. We, we felt bad for Hunter and his situation. Because some people believe that Hunter was used by Candace. Okay, Hunter may be a child that's been sexually abused, essayed. Now, listen, you'd be like, man, how can he? If Jose was telling the truth and Candace was doing what he's saying to Hunter, she is a monster. Okay, if any part of what Don's has been said about, he is a monster. Any of it. It's so bad. If any of that shit's true, he's a monster. Now, was Kent Candace taking advantage of Hunter? Did Hunter lose that? His Did he become a man? I guess I'll say it like that. Did he become a man with Candace Wells? I, I truly think there may be something to that. Now, Candace told me they were just buddies. 
Yeah, we were just buddies. She made it out to be just simple friends. Like he was already drinking, smoking. It ain't a big deal, you know. We're just friends. It it seems a little odd. It, it seems a little odd. But maybe that Candace didn't need somebody to smoke with that day, talk to, because I don't think Don pays her much attention. So I've always held it in like a 50-50. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Maybe Candace is telling the truth. Maybe Hunter is ashamed. Okay? Because Hunter has a little girlfriend. But you got to remember, Jose said this was prior to that. When he was staying at the house, she was doing dirty things with Hunter. Now, he also said Don was taking showers with Summer and things of that nature, which is just totally, totally disgusting. But and is it possible that, that both of these people, Candace and Dom Wells, are, are predators themselves? Maybe that's their relationship. Maybe they have dirt on each other, you know, no matter how much they don't talk. Or Dolly's completely wrong and somebody came up on that hill and snatched that little girl. There's no, the police have never said there's any signs of a kidnapping. No fingerprints, no footprints. The only thing we heard was the dogs picked up on a trail down the bike path. And you know who we heard that from? Don and Candace Wells. From the police, no, nothing. They just can tell us what time the calls came in, the missing reports came in, and they verified that at some point that day she was alive. That's it. Every bit of other information we get comes from the internet, comes from misinformation, comes from YouTubers being paid to run interference to keep people from digging into the wells, right? Seems a little strange to me. When anytime I've never seen nobody get paid in a in the disappearance of a kid. Why would people be paid? And as soon as you start hearing that there's money and things involved, there shouldn't be none of that going on in the disappearance of a little girl. True knew because the money was going to her boyfriend's cash app, allegedly. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. So um, I'm sure they got a little piece of the pie and Hunter got a little piece of the pie. I hope they enjoyed the pie because now look, they, they're up here and really need money for their mom and, I don't see them one donation. I don't see nobody, not one donation up here. Okay. Do y'all see a donation? I don't see nobody that's wrote whatever. I mean, I'm sure they just made this, but um, they created it 12 hours ago and it was created by Amber and there's not a donation to their $2,500 goal. This is sick if it's true. Now, here's the thing. Did you read it? Did y'all read this? It's It says she's, they talk about her like she's dead. She left behind. This Okay. Allison is currently in ICU on life support, and the doctors have informed us that she may never wake up. She may not. <clears throat> Even if she does, which means there's a possibility that she could. She won't be the same. Allie, we know and love. She leaves behind three children. Right? She leaves behind three children, her grandmother, mother, two sisters, and her best friend and wife. Okay? She was eagerly waiting to be a grandmother again. Maybe she's still asleep eagerly waiting to be a grandmother again. She didn't leave behind anybody. If she's not dead, she didn't leave behind anybody. Okay, a coma is not dead. Twenty five hundred is nothing for medical expenses. She would have uh, Medicaid. That's what I said. She was on Section Eight HUD housing, low income. She would have Medicaid, Medicare, or something like that. They, if you gave them the money, you think they're going to pay her medical bills? You think they're going to pay it? This is a hey, we'll pay the medical bills and give you the money. Hell no, they're going to take that money and run. They're going to take that money and run. And they'll take this $2,500 and they'll let the state cremate 
Allison. You watch. She'll come back in a cardboard box. And that's a shame. Right? Ain't none of these people giving up no money. They ain't gonna, they're not going to pay. They'll let the state cover it. They'll give it to her in a card. They'll, that's what the state does. When you can't afford to bury somebody, they go ahead and cremate them. They give you their remains. And, and the state covers it in a lot of cases. Um, they don't bury you with nothing like that. There's no service. It's just a cremation, and they hand you a box with ashes in it weeks later when they can get to cremating your loved one. That's horrible. So I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Now, does anybody feel any differently than I do? If you do, press 1. But if you're on the same page as me, press 2 in the chat, okay? I just want to see if I'm being an asshole here. Press 1 if you think they should be helped right now. With, it, with no transparency. I see some 2s. Okay, so some of the people are on the same page as me. Like, look, even I would help if you would be transparent about it. And I knew this was helping Allie. Okay, I see all twos right now. I see some zeros. Two, two, two. And see, this is what happens when you're the boy who cries wolf. This is exactly what happens right here. Look at all them twos. I don't see anybody right now. Um, Melissa, thank you so much for getting that membership. I don't see anybody that agrees with giving without them being transparent because they were really not, they were very unappreciative of what the internet had already done for them. Okay. You got people donate hundreds of dollars and you can't say, Hey guys, um, we didn't really need it, but thank you so much for the help. We'll make sure it goes to something to help our mama or, or, you know, put some food in the house. No, none of that. None of that. Okay. So listen, I don't want to help ungrateful people. And I know Allie would be grateful if we helped her. You know, if I was in that situation laying on my deathbed, I'd want you guys to help me. I wouldn't want you getting scammed by my crooked ass family. Okay. I got like cousins and half brothers and fuckers. I don't even know. They'd probably scam you. Don't ever fall into that one. The only person trusting my thing is PJ and Tiff. Okay. We don't come from them. Don't donate to it ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it, if it don't come from them too, if it's a baby mama, an old ex-girlfriend, don't do it. It's a scam. Okay. So to see this going on and now whoever this might be somebody legit i don't know if it's the same people that she may really need to help and now she ain't going to get it right and i think channels across the board right now are like damn right people have been talking about it usually people that would step up i don't see a whole lot of people jumping to the front of the line like they don't even have a dollar donated a dollar that's how much damage Andrew Hiltz and Hunter did in this. Like, did they realize people are nice and people have big hearts, but when we feel like we've been got or you did some wrong shit, this is what you get. And I told Andrew, I said, look, your super chats are going to die off. Your cash apps are done. You committed you to beside Right, it's a new word. I'm copywriting it. Somebody else said it first, but I stole it. Okay, so if I stole it first, it means it's mine. But that's what he's basically done, right? People are watching you now because you are an absolute train wreck, right? So now he's on this campaign and wanting to try to expose people. Bro, you ain't the dude to be exposing people. A convict, a, a robber, or scammer. It's like, oh, now I'm going to expose people. What is the damn internet came to? So I think the best punishment, and I've said this. Cut that stuff off. Just cut it off. Let, let the funds dry up on them. And that's what they deserve. You want to watch their stuff? Wait till somebody clips it. 
and puts it on the channel. Don't give them the view. Don't give them the like. Don't give them the super chat because they ain't done nothing to deserve it. All they've done is taken and caused misery, caused fucking... Listen, what they are doing to Ali right now is absolutely horrible. I didn't know the woman like that, but I know she deserves better than this. I never seen why this was going on. I never seen her come up here and try to scam anything. Okay. She didn't do lot. I mean, no, I'd take that back. One time she was on uh, Andrews and she wasn't being the politest. That's all I'm going to say. Um, wow, guys. Wow. Dolly, would any of these people do the same for you or any of us if we were in need? Um, tw twin thing, no. I definitely know they wouldn't. I don't think they would anyway. Now, maybe Ali, I don't know. I, I know they wouldn't help me if I needed help, you know. I know people would help me if I needed help. I know that for a fact. I, I got I got a really big support base and a lot of I'm I'm fortunate. Okay. I'm I'm really blessed in this world and I'm thankful for that. So I know people would help me. You know, no matter what, they're gonna help me. They're gonna I've been around, I've helped too many people for people not that's the good thing about helping people. When you help people and then you need help, I don't have a problem getting help at all. You know, um, but I don't need no help. I don't need no help on anything. And if I did, I'm not ashamed to ask for help. I wouldn't come up here and lie. Okay. I'd tell you straight up. I'm pretty transparent about everything I, I spend my money on when I don't even have to be, you know, I build my whole thing has always been building my YouTube and, and everything around it. Okay. And over the fa past five years, I built some awesome shit and I'm going to continue to do that. And I'm going to continue to do, try to do good things with my platform. You as a, a creator, you can do whatever you want. You can choose to be a bad person, a shit talk person, drama channel, true crime channel, sports channel, whatever. You don't really got to do anything. I choose to go out and try to help people and do the best I can for people. 10 years ago, would I have done that? Probably not. You know, I had I had other interests and things and my life was more hectic and crazy. But these days I've gotten older, slowed down, more caring. And um, I probably couldn't have been a YouTuber 10 years ago. I probably didn't have like the patience for it. I probably wasn't the most caring person, maybe. It ain't the things I didn't care about. It's just. I don't know. I don't know. I just think as I've gotten older, I've gotten calmer. I've gotten way more caring. I'll cry at this, the littlest, saddest thing, like a big old fucking sissy, right? Um, and I just want to make up, like, you, you ever watch My Name is Earl, for some of you people out there? You make mistakes in this world, and I figure I may have a good 25 years left in me, if I'm lucky, if God blesses me. Okay, so I figure I'm partially halfway through my life. When I leave this planet, I want to be remembered for good things. I don't want to be remembered for being a piece of shit. I don't want to be remembered for being a YouTuber. None of the music shit I did. I just want to be remembered in the hearts and minds for being a decent person. That's it. Nothing crazy, nothing special. But I don't want people to be like, yo, I'm glad he's fucking dead. Okay? And if everybody's right and there is a heaven in this world or multiverse, I'm trying to get in. Okay? I know I ain't a perfect person. I ain't no saint. There ain't nobody that is. I'm going to stumble. I'm going to fall. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to fuck up. But I still want to try to make it through them doors, okay? 
I may be a little bad or I might be the one that shouldn't get in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to try my best with what time I got left to try to earn my way to that spot. Okay. Whatever other people's journeys are, everybody's journey in this life is individual. You know, where you want to go, where you think your spirit goes, whatever you think the importance of life. Like, I don't know if people wake up in the morning and ask yourself, man, why am I here? There has to be a reason that God has put me here on this, on this planet to do something right. One day you'll figure out what that is. I still have it. You know, all these years later, I'm still trying to figure out what it is, but I see that I'm on that path. Now before I didn't know, I couldn't see the path. I see the path now. So that way, at least I know I'm on the right path. Before, I didn't know what fucking put where I was even going. But at least these days, I know I'm walking down the path that's going to lead me somewhere. And it's not leading me anywhere bad. These people are still on this badass path. And they, they look, I'm walking uphill, you know, and it's a hard walk. My legs are tired. They sliding on down. <laughs> they taking the easy. You know what I'm saying? I don't. We don't know in this world. We don't know. None of us have died to been there yet. Maybe they have and we reincarnated. But I don't remember no past lives. So I'm going to live the best life I can. And try to do right by people. The best I can. You can't ever. You know. There's going to be slip ups and hiccups. And fuck ups. And things like that. Please stop spamming the chat over and over. Thank you. Now, I don't want to turn this into a damn hour-long uh, re uh, religious ceremony, but die! Okay? Just telling you what I think and how, you know, I'm not trying to push religion on you. Like I said, everybody has their own journey. If you don't believe, don't believe. It don't matter to me. Okay? Because this game is played individually. All right? You can play it together as a team. But when you come in, unless you're a twin, <laughs> you're usually by yourself. And when you leave here, you usually leave by yourself. So to me, you're playing this game of life solo with a teammate sometimes. And you may get lucky and go together, but usually they ain't the case. Usually one goes for the other. Continue to pray for Allie. Continue to play for her rotten ass family. Okay, that's doing wrong things. Maybe throw a prayer out there that they decide to do something good and something right. Be nice people. Inform th everybody that's concerned about their mama what's going on, you know. Maybe some of these people out here really care and you think everybody just, they act like everybody's trying to make a come up off of them. Right? Like, oh, y'all getting these clicks and views. Everybody was trying to help, and nobody was even talking about you but Andrew. Okay, I mean, you still had, like, your few channels, like BK, TN. They never stop, right? Because if they, they don't, if they talk about anything else, it's like the more drama they stir up and chaos, the more views they get, and they know that. And even with that, even with them causing chaos and drama and starting shit, nobody still watches them. That tells you right there, people don't support shitty behavior. They just don't. If you start acting like that and being a turd, there's more good people in this world. Look, at one point, I was getting trolled by so many people. I was just thinking, man, is everybody on the internet bad? But then I remember all the love I get by thousands and thousands and thousands of people that make all that shit talking and all the names I hear called about me, all the horrible things I'm accused of that I never done worth it because in the end, if it helps one person, then I did what I had to do. And I believe this channel has helped way more than one person, way more. So, and it's going to continue to do that. And we're going to make sure we got to vet people. We got to make sure they're not scammers, con artists, rip offs and things of this nature. I didn't always have the ability to help people. I, I I've been I've been in situations where I couldn't rub two nickels together. These days, I got a little bit more abilities to try to help people and do good things. 
and I don't want that taken advantage of. And and there's people out here that really need help in this world that really, really need it. And then there's people out here that will steal from you. So it makes people not want to help the people that really need it. Like, there's people, good people out here in this world that are really struggling. I mean, good people, honest people would give you the last quarter in their pocket. Really struggling, really going through life. And people will walk right past them and not help them because they've been burnt too many times. Too many times helping people have you get burnt. And then eventually nice people go, I ain't helping nobody no more. And that's terrible for the people that need help. Definitely. So many scammers, con artists, ripoffs. So people over there, if you're watching Mr. Hills, demand your money back from him. He ain't got it. Okay? He ain't getting it back. You can demand it and all those things. Lean on me is in the room. Thank you for lean on me for posting what it actually looks like. When you refund some money, it looks like that on mine too, but I haven't refunded anybody anything anytime soon. So I don't have a screenshot to show of it, but thank you for posting that the show that a man was fucking lying. Good job. Lean on me. She was sleuthing. and she's like, yeah, I ain't letting that go. I've refunded money and you did the right thing. Lean on me. You asked for help. And then when you realize you didn't need it, you say, here guys, here's your money back. That's what an honest person does, okay? Lean on me. That's what an absolute honest person does. You're like a rock star for that. Um, you could have easily just kept that money and moved on, but you didn't. You said, look, this was for something, and I didn't need that. I'm going to give it back. He said the same thing, but the only difference is he didn't give that shit back, right? He didn't even come close to giving it back. He didn't even think about giving it back. He left all the way to the dope man's house with that money. Him and his brother. All right. You know, a family that gets high together stays together. Right. And so many people. were saying they, they believe Hunter is on drugs. Okay, and, and some of the examples were saying, like, did you notice when he was on the interview that he was all yawny and yawny? He left a few times and then he came back and he was like not yawning anymore and he was all fidgety and like all over the place. I really didn't notice, but my turtles, y'all notice everything, okay? That he was fidgety, I really didn't notice it. I'm not like a body language expert. You know, he didn't look real nervous to me, though. I didn't really notice him. Fin I just thought he was kind of like being a typical, oh, y'all crazy. And he just glanced over everything. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I just thought he was really like that. Maybe he has ADHD. I don't know if he's chopping up uh damn Adderall's in the back. I don't know what the kid's doing. I don't know. I didn't even really even notice it. I'm just saying a lot of the comments in the comments of the videos. Guys, I read every last one of your comments. I just want y'all to know that. If you leave a comment and I don't comment you back, just know I read your comment. Because some of these, like, lately these videos have been hundreds of comments. So I'll sit here in the morning before I went live and I sat here and read like 137 comments. Okay, so I, I read your comments. I hard at some of them. Some of them I comment back real fast. But thank you guys. Just know anything you say, I read. All right. I'm one of them people that read everything that's left on my channel. Hate, love. You if you leave it, just know that I take the time to read your comment. I try to at least hard them back to let you know I read it. I've read your comment. If I sometimes I don't have time to write everybody back, okay? And sometimes I do, and usually it's just really quick responses or auto response. Uh, so, like, thanks for watching the video, things like that. Um, so, but thank you guys for taking the time to leave those comments because I really do like hearing from you guys and your opinions and what you think and all that stuff. Um, a lot of people with suggestions and, and things of that nature and information. You know, I want everybody to have their opinion here, right? Because 
even if you think opposite of me and you disagree with what I'm saying, I still want you to be able to come here and voice your opinion. I don't ever want my room to be in the echo chamber where everybody's just like, yeah, Dolly, yeah, Dolly, Dolly got to be right. Dolly's right. Dolly, yeah, Dolly, yeah. No, I, I want that conversation. I want that that challenge, you know. <clears throat> I think great conversations are made with people that have two opposing views on things. And as adults, it's not about fighting, but discussing those things. Like some people support what's going on with what they're doing. I definitely don't. I definitely at this point can't. I, like I said, I don't want anybody out here calling the hospital. I don't want anybody reporting their pages or doing anything like that. The damage they've done, they've done to their self. We don't, we don't need to do anything. That is their punishment. Okay, that is the punishment for the scamming and the stealing. We don't have to do anything for you. That's it. We, we have the options of what we do. We're not obligated. We're not forced. Yes, we like Ali, and we wish nothing but the best for Ali. But do we, do we line the pockets of not good people? Because we care for Ali. That we feel sorry for Hunter. And we really don't know. He could just be a lying ass kid that really knows something. I think sometimes we're too good of people. You know? Like, man. Like, people tell me all the time. Like, you, you, you can't save the world. But I'm a strong believer that one person, one person can make a huge difference in this world. I hear it all the time. One person can't save the world. But I can tell you this. One person can change the world. That's all it takes. But if your voice gets that strong, they assassinate you. Facts. Anybody with a powerful voice in this world have died. I want people to listen to me. But I don't want my voice ever become that powerful where I get hit with a sniper rifle. Okay. This is going to make that perfectly clear. You can keep the millions of subs and shit. I just want people, a little bit of people to listen, but I never get that powerful. You don't want to be John F. Kennedy. You don't want to be Martin Luther King. You don't want to be Malcolm X. You don't want to be any of these people, okay? Everybody in this world that's had a good voice, a powerful voice, and a message to unite people and bring people together, have been killed. That's facts. Okay. I stay in the shadows. <clears throat> where they let people stay alive. Okay. Where you get to stay alive. And just speak a little bit. Speak a little bit. Let that message get out there. But you don't want to be the voice for all the people. That is. That is. That's like sealing your execution. In this world that we live in. Um, I guess I'm already know who his lawyer is. Candace, hello. Let me catch up on the chat a little bit and see what y'all are talking about. You worked hard for many years to get to the place you are. That's because you're successful enough to have your channel. I am super proud of you. It's taking hard work and um honesty and loyalty. Definitely. It's been a long journey on this YouTube path, and it's never really been about how big the channel is. To me, I want my plaque. It's almost like you graduated from school and you got to get 100,000 people to get that. And I know it's like, I don't know. Like if we went to school at the end, don't you want a diploma? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like me and that damn stupid thing I want to hang on my wall. The numbers never really mean nothing to me. I, it, some days there's thousands of people here. Sometimes there's hundreds of people here. Sometimes there's 50 people here. It. It's never really mattered. I've had 30,000 people. I don't let the YouTube stuff go to my head. I'm the same dude as y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm a goofball. I just want to have fun and and do cool things and share it with the internet. And I bring you guys along for the ride. And in the last year, we've almost screwed this channel. I really kicked in probably, what, in the last two years? So 30,000 people in the last two years? So, you know, I figure four years of college, you would get a diploma. So I figure after four years, I at least want to be able to look on my wall and say, hey, 
I graduated. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of these college kids that, you know, never graduated. I've been here for six years. I ain't even close to being a doctor. Like, look, I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying. I'm working my ass off. I'm here every day, like clockwork, at least, at least twice a day. You know, I show up to class. I do my homework. I study. I do my research and, and I still can't get that damn little shiny fucking thing to hang on my wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me the plaque. Y'all can have this back, okay? I'm like Dr. Dre at this point. One platinum plaque? Fuck this YouTube shit. You can have it back, okay? It's all I need is a picture to hang on my wall. And I'm never YouTubing again, okay? I'm playing. I'm playing. But that's what everybody does it for, okay? I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for that I need uh, attention or anything like that. I do it to have that one little thing to hang on my wall. And it makes me feel good inside to help people. It really does. And I encourage people to help people because once you do, it is one of the best. When you see somebody happy and you made them that happy, it is the best buzz in the world. Like, I feel like, you know, when I seen the little kid playing with the train, I bought him. It made me feel so happy. Like you couldn't, you couldn't buy a drug that could make you feel that good. All right. Just seeing that little kid happy on Christmas. It was like the best buzz I could have got. I couldn't have bought no smoke that could have got me there. Nothing. Just helping them people and seeing that kid so happy on Christmas. That is the best, that is the best feeling you can, have. it warms your heart so much. I didn't even know I had a heart, you know, but it put just as big a smile on my face as that kid had on his face. And that's what being a decent human being can do for you. And, and some people get hooked on these feelings, right? Well, that's a feeling I can get hooked on, seeing people happy. And I made them that way. I think it's an awesome gift. Uh, that's because you're not a demon spawn from the pits of hell. Um, I don't know if I'm not a demon spawn. I might be a demon spawn. My dad had 37 fucking kids all over the country with every woman he could humanly meet. Okay. I got family members. I don't know. Sisters, brothers, cousins. Like I couldn't even begin to tell you. Right. I find out every day I got a new family. member. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, OK, I don't know you, but uh, how you doing? <laughs> you know, what do you say to people? Like, I can't help my dad was a hoe. You know, you have kids in Texas. You had kids in Louisiana. You had kids in Georgia. You had kids in damn. Where was the last lady called me? Arizona. How the hell did he get to Arizona? OK, you had kids in Arizona. I'm like, this man banged every woman that would let him stay there. Okay, so, um, yeah, all kinds of siblings, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, wow, you know, don't know their names, you know, <laughs> but they there, they out there. And the girl that hit me up recently and said she was my sister, um, I forget her name. That's, ain't that crazy? She just recently hit me up not long ago and said, hey, I'm your sister. I mean, we had the same DNA. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know you, lady. I don't know you. Wish you nothing but the best, though. Wish these people nothing but the best. I don't really, you know, what do you say to a family member that you don't know or never been around? And it's random, too, like random messages. Like, can't wait to meet you, cuz, uh, we're going to go get drunk. I write back, I don't drink. How are you going to fit in in this family? I'm not. I don't know you people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know you. I don't plan on fitting in. All right? Like, that That ain't how it works. It's just, it just ain't. Um, Late to the party, but good morning, Dolly. Good morning. Your dad must have been exhausted. Apparently so. You know, for you guys that know, my name ain't Dolly. My name is Jimmy. Okay, and there's I have brothers out there that had the exact same name as me. Like it ain't just I'm not even the only Jimmy, you know. I was named after two of my dad's kids 
from another marriage. Okay. From another marriage, they named me after two of his sons. There's nobody else named Jimmy in my family. Okay. I got named after another Jimmy in my family that I don't know. A brother Jimmy. An older brother Jimmy. And you want to hear some weird shit. This is, we've never met the guy. I don't know the guy. you never seen him before in my life. Okay. So, I'll share the story with you. One day, this chick comes over with some of my friends, and she works for the Center of Lost, Missing, and Exploited Children. All right? Now, you know I'm into true crime. So, me and this lady had a lot to talk about. We were sharing stories, blah, blah, blah. And she just, just in general conversation, as you know, was asking about my family and things. I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't know she was fucking writing it down. And... And she asked me something about my dad. And I was like, yeah, I don't know him. He's like, she was like, oh, you never met him? And I was like, nah. So I don't really know this chick. A few days later, I get a message. And, and it's this woman that was at my house. And she was like, hey, I got your number from so-and-so. She's like, I want to tell you something. But you might want to sit down to get this information. Okay? And I was like, might want to sit down to get this information. This chick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's like, look, when I left your house, I looked up your family. I looked up your dad. I looked up all your other siblings. And I was like, huh? She was like, and you have a lot of them. And I was like, look, lady, my name is really common because I have a really common last name. Right. Y'all hear it on the intro to the to the show. I have a really common last name. So uh I tell people that all the time. It's like, look, a lot of these people are confusing me with people because of the name is super common. So I tell her the same thing. I was, she was like, uh, yeah, you know, I was like, my name's super common. You sure you got the right people? She's like, oh yeah, I found your dad. I found your brothers, your sisters. And uh, she's like, y you might, I was like, look, you still, I was like, I you might be mistaken lady. And she's like, look, I'm positive. I'm not mistaken. Your brother is named Jimmy. He does the exact same thing you do for a living. And y'all drive that exact same vehicle. And y'all have the exact same name. And I was like, what? And she was like, I told you to sit down. She's like, I told you to sit down for this, right? And I was like, she's like, then she told me the brother that was my middle name. Right? And I was like, I was like, okay, this sounds too, too coincidental. Too, like, because I had no clue to who they even were. So, she's like, yeah, you got these brothers, blah, 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 and all these people, right? So, not only did she have their Facebook accounts, she had their phone numbers, she had their addresses, and I was like, okay. So, the first one I find, well, I find a a couple of them first. And I was like, okay, what am I going to say to these people? I don't know them. You know, I don't, I don't know these people. Should I say anything to them? So the first one I find is Jimmy. Okay. And there's one David and there's Dwayne. There's a bunch of them. Okay. They're like, A couple of them like airline pilots and shit. And I'm thinking, okay, that's not quite quite me. You know what I'm saying? Or what I do. But then I get to Jimmy. And Jimmy is the oldest. He's older than me. I think he may be the youngest brother, but he's older than me. He was a son before me. Okay. And I go on to Jimmy's page and Jimmy drives the exact same 1994 MacGyver Jeep. I mean, the same year, same Jeep, same everything. You look at his occupation, his occupation is the exact same as mine, right? I'm like, okay, this is fucking super, like, weird. I look at him. I don't really see the family resemblance. He's more of a heavy set guy, a little bit bigger guy than me. I don't, like I said, I don't really see the family resemblance. But some of the things he was saying was almost like I said it, okay? And then I'm thinking, oh, shit, this dude is my brother. This dude is actually legitimately my brother. 
So I write them. And I write them something, you know, something stupid. What do you write a person you don't know? And you got to tell them, hey, I'm your brother. And he never knew I existed. Just like I never knew he existed. He never knew there was another Jimmy either. With the exact same name. He never knew. So I write him. And. Uh, oh, no, no. I write. I write all three of them. Okay. I, I write one message. And I copy and paste it. And I write all three of the three that I found. I couldn't find the sisters. I just could find the brothers. So. I wrote all three of them with like, you know, just a auto response message like, hey, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I believe that I may be your brother. I didn't told him who my mother was, who my father was, and uh, and what information I knew about my dad. Right. So I get this response back and it sounded like it came from me. It sounded just like it came from me. It's like, hey, man. I got a really common last name. I think you're making a mistake, right? And I, it sounded like just like something I would say, okay? And he writes me back. He goes, what was your dad's middle name? Okay, this is what he asked me. And I wrote back and I said, my dad didn't have a middle name. His middle name was just the letter D. The next message was, call me and i was like okay because it's completely changed you went from hey i ain't your brother to you may be mistaken to call me and as soon as i, I called him up and he was like dude you are my brother that is my dad and apparently him and his mom divorced he met my mom married my mom had me him and my mom split. He moved to Texas, had more kids, then moved to Louisiana, had more kids, then moved to fucking Arizona, apparently, and had kids. So he got around the whole country, you know, and uh, so I don't know. The only difference in that, Jimmy and me, was he was a drinker, like my dad. He said my dad woke up in the morning, he drank beer, okay? At lunch, he drank liquor, and he said at night... He would drink anything that you gave him. Anything you gave him. And I guess he didn't care. He said he was a piece of shit. He said, I didn't miss nothing by not knowing him. He said, the other two can't stand him. Uh, but he lived with him that he was basically a, a functional alcoholic. Drank every day. Said he wasn't a bad person. He, did, had a, he was a routine person. He'd get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, start drinking, go to work. Work all day, come home, continue to drink, drink, pass out. Somewhere in there, he was doing a lot of banging because he had a lot of damn kids, okay? I didn't even see the man until I was, what he looked like until I was, I don't know, was it my 40s? Me and my daughter was at the circus, okay? You're speaking of circus, you know, the whole damn circus we're going through right now. Me and my daughter was at the circus, and when, when I talked to Jimmy on the phone, I said, look, man, I've never seen my dad. I never know. I don't know what he looks like. I've never seen him. And Jimmy was in the process of uh, moving because he owns a restaurant on the Gulf shore in Alabama. Okay. So he was in the process of moving to this beach house in Alabama and opening this restaurant. He said, so I'm in the process of moving. He's like, but when I get to my location, everything unpacked, I'll get you a picture of dad. I was like, okay. So it's my daughter's birthday. I take her to the circus, right? We're watching the fucking clowns and all. I know this is a little off topic. And I get a message. And it's like, here's a pic of dad. And I click on this picture. And I swear, this dude looks sneaky as shit. You think Andrew Hiltz looks like a criminal? Okay. <laughs> my pops look sneaky. And in the picture, he was like this. Like he was going to steal something. I was thinking to myself, my mom married this man, okay? I was looking at it, shaking my head. But here's the good thing. I got to see my dad with my daughter, okay, for the very first time. We looked at the picture at exactly the same time. So the very first time I got to see what my dad looked like, she got to see her grandfather for the very first time. 
So we was at the dam. And so, I mean, we instantly was kind of laughing, looking at each other like, did we, did we look like this? You know what I'm saying? We kind of eyed. Did we got any of these like resemblances to this damn Mr. Burns ass looking, thieving ass looking dude. Okay. Like I almost wanted to go dig my mom up and talk to her. You know, I was like, mom, I was like, it's like I mean, we would. I wish you was alive to, so you could answer some questions of what the hell you was smoking when you met that man. But look, either way, thank God. Okay, thank God I'm here, and I turned out to be a good person. I don't look like I'm about to steal everything in your house. Okay, and he didn't look skinny like a crackhead or nothing. He looked sneaky, like not so much like a thief, but he looked sneaky as shit. Like you ever just seen somebody look sneaky? Do I look that sneaky? Maybe I do. All right. Because when I see my dad, I was like, yo, that's a sneaky looking bitch right there. Like I, I would put my wallet up if he was around. He looks like he would steal some shit from you. It's just like he was standing there in, in pajamas and shit in the kitchen. I was like, like some Hugh Hefner shit. I was like, that's probably why he has all them fucking babies. Okay. Put some fucking clothes on, dude. Probably runs around in pajamas thinking he's, he's Hugh or something. Huh? Maybe that's where I get it from. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I wear pajamas a lot, but I didn't think about it. it. Might be in my DNA. Okay. So just because you come from a bad bloodline, okay, or not the best bloodline, don't mean that you got to be like that. You don't got to be like your dad. I don't drink. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a functioning alcoholic. I sleep all day. Okay. I don't have a routine. I'm I'm sporadic. You know. So I'm not this person, you know, even though I'm from this person, I'm still not this person. We're all individuals in this world. We do carry a little bit of them traits, but somewhere you have to break the cycle, you know. Now, I had to say, um, did I break the cycle? I don't know. I guess in my young days, I did have a lot of girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have all those babies though, because I, I guess he came from an era where they didn't have uh, protection. Maybe you know they didn't have the AIDS epidemic and things of that nature that they had to worry about. So I guess in them days it was okay to spit out just as many kids as Andrew Hilt. Mama did good with you, Jimmy. You're a good man, good father. Yeah. And like I said, I had, you know, my family crazy as fuck, but they're caring. And I, 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 at least, you know, and my sisters were good. My mama was good. My brothers were fucking idiots, right? For the most part. Uh, not not saying that bad about them, but there's so many of them. I don't even know all of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's so many of them. I don't even know all of them. But, and I have no plans really to meet any of them. I just wanted them to know that I existed and I know that they exist. And oh, I meant to tell y'all what I ended my letter on when I wrote them. I said, look, I don't want nothing from you people. I'm not contacting you for that. I don't need no money. I don't need a place to stay. I don't want you to fucking hug me. I don't need to heal from any, you know, childhood trauma, <laughs> any, anything like that. This is what I ended it on. I said, but if I ever need a kidney, it's good to know that there is one out there. And that's how I ended my message to all three of them. I was like, I don't want shit from y'all. I don't care if you hit me back. I'm not. I was like, but I know if I need a kidney, there's a couple of them bitches floating around. Okay. And that's good to know that there's some extra body parts just in case you need one. So like, Hey, if something goes bad, I want some brotherly love at that point until then. I don't know you people. Okay. But if I need a kidney, Hey, we got the same pops, okay? We got the same pops out there. Give it up. Um, Honey Dip says, I feel like you're my brother. I am. I am the YouTube. You, internet is my family. This is where I spend most of my time uh, chopping up with people. PJ sometimes tells me, she's like, you talk to the internet more than you talk to me. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I just time I talk to the internet for four hours, I'm tired of talking. My face hurts. Okay. I need a break. That's probably why I talk. Don't talk as much when I'm not online. I'm like, could you just please be quiet? My face hurts from three hours of talking. Ha ha. Give me that kidney. Right. But they're all drinkers. Okay. They might need my kidney. 
I'm like, shit, maybe I shouldn't have told them nothing, right? Because now they're going to be hitting me up talking about, hey, uh, Jimmy, is there any way we can get your kidney? You know, ours has failed from years of Bush beer and NASCAR, okay? <laughs> they were so redneck. It's just the, so redneck, so redneck. But you don't pick your family, and like I said, People have all kinds of kids everywhere. You just really can't control it. But my mom donated her kidney to me. That is awesome. I mean, that is the one good thing about having family. If you really was to get in a situation. Now, would these people really give me a kidney? Think about that. They don't know me. All right. All of them graduated from the University of Alabama. That part of them did anyway. They live in mansions and they fucking own big ass businesses, fly planes. Like they ain't doing shit for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they ain't doing nothing for me. <laughs> you know, it's good to see that, you know, that the people are doing good, right? Like, uh, I'm like, damn, dude, bro, you got a nice house. You live in a fucking mansion. I mean, when I say a mansion, I mean one of them legitimately lives in a big, huge ass mansion. Must be nice. Okay. I don't golf. I don't fly planes. So everything ain't the same. That's what I mean. People are their own people. You do carry a little bit of, you know, them genes from your mom and dad. But it's up to you to determine the person you become. And it's not your mom or your dad that makes you the person. It's you. And then, you know, experiences also make you the person. Like, you know, I have such a good relationship with my kid because I don't want to mess a relationship up with my kid because I didn't have no relationship with my pops. I didn't know that guy. I never met him in my life. I was like, as growing up, I always knew I would never do that to my kid, that I would never have a child and just like it didn't matter. Like Andrew Hiltz. OK. I don't know if Andrew Hiltz's daddy was never there for him, but somebody has to be the one to break that cycle. I was like, there'll never be a time my kid has to worry about me caring about her, her contacting her, talking to her, you know, none of that stuff. Because I know how that feels as a person. It maybe it never really like bothered me because, like I said, I had a kick ass mama. She took on the role, mom, dad, whip your ass, carry, do the whole shit. So that's how come I ended up like the way I am. And See, I had more of a dad with just my mom than Hunter has right now with Andrew Hiltz. That's just the truth. That man has no nobody to point him in the right direction. Nobody to try to get him to do the right thing. Um, Team Rose says, so close to 30K subs. Thank you, guys. Sub it up. I think we are almost 30K here. Dolly's replays, I think we're almost at like 40K. So if you ain't subbed up yet, make sure you sub up the channel. And guys, Dolly's replays, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that channel yet. Um, I might do some changing up of things on some of the channel. Not this one, not this channel, but the other Dolly. The Dolly's replays because I've had it down for a little bit. I haven't been using that channel. Um, I may go in a different direction with Dolly's replays. Me and PJ have been talking about it. Something new for 2024. But we're definitely this channel stays true crime all the time. And of course, Dolly Uncensored is my panel channel. So I'll have three channels running. Um but right now, I'm running the two, really one, and partially Dolly Uncensored. But soon, we're going to kick up this, the other channel with something new and own something new. It ain't true crime. I can tell y'all guys that now. It's not true crime. It's something else that I'm pretty passionate about. And this is going to be more of a, um, I won't be on the channel. It's just more videos, more editing, more shit of that nature. It's more sports oriented, okay? Uh that way that channel has a life again, okay? Because it's been sitting stagnant for like a long time with nothing being done. I'm going to rename the channel, rebrand it, uh, change up the concept of the channel and all that. But definitely true crime here all the time. 
or if there's any chaos that goes on in these cases that we follow. I just want a big conclusion for the Summer Wells thing. I want to, you know, hopefully that we, she's found or something happens or a new lead or new something breaks. There's a lot of stuff going on right now in the monkey, monkey Michael Monkey Vaughn case. I got some business that I need to handle outside of this Summer Wells battling with these fucking idiot stuff that's really important to me. That's really true crime and, and um, I got some things going on behind the scenes, okay? I really don't want to talk about it right now, but it's really important, like really important in true crime. Not, not like a little bit important, but a lot important. And I've, I've been doing some things behind the scenes, and um, you may see some things coming here soon, okay? And there's definitely going to be some big breaks and some things. I can't say everything. There's some things I, I know, I know, know that ain't been released on the news. It's not been, it's no, I just, and it's really important, really, really important. So I'm going to handle some of those things today. Okay. So if we're going to be changing gears a little bit, okay. We're going to be changing gears just for a little bit. I mean, we're still going to cover some of the summer things, but there's some important stuff that I need to take care of. That's for a really good reason. Okay. As so I'm going to say like super good, super, super, super good reasons. And just when you see some things coming forward and you don't understand it, just trust me. It's for super, super, super good reasons. And you may not understand it at first. You won't. You won't completely. But just trust me. Okay? You will understand it in the end. It's one of them things you're going to be like, what the fuck is Dolly doing? Just trust me. Okay? Can't tell everybody everything. I just got to say this. Have some faith in your homie. All right? You might quit. You'll be like, well, what the hell is going on? Just know that it's I got some things in the works. Turtle Island will be back at the end of this month for season four of Turtle Island for people that's been asking. So you ain't going to get no Turtle Island right now. I told you we were going heavy duty in the true crime, right? Like when I mean heavy duty, I mean, we're going full speed in 2024. There's a lot of things coming. There's searches coming, court dates coming, things that I'm working on behind the scenes coming. There's, there's a lot of shit for you guys in 2024. I promise you, I told you this was going to be the year of the turtle. That I was like turning the heat up, right? I had to handle no legal shit in 2023. It was kind of slow. We about to blow the doors off this place, okay? We about to blow the doors off of it. Dolly, shh. So, look, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I will be back with y'all later. I'm sure that the meth head will have a fucking 10-hour live stream going today on whoever he wants to talk shit about and try to make a buck. Make sure before you give any money to anybody like this, there's some transparency in it that is able to be, we can count for how much money they get. And I suggest we don't do anything until we know for a fact what is going on with Ali. Okay. Until we know what's going on with Ali. And then once we do that, we determine at that point as a community, if we want to help. Right now, be warned, guys. Scam alert. Scam alert. I'm not saying that this is a scam. I'm just saying we've been scammed. We, she's not deceased. She did not leave anybody behind right yet. She may, but at this present time, the update we have is Ali is still with us. They're trying to go fund money for a lady that ain't dead talking like she is. Okay. Did you get on Survivor? No, I wish. Yeah, I'd be over here dancing. I didn't get on. Not that I know of, okay? But we still look. That's one casting call. Dolly is going to try to get on a couple different things, okay? I, you only live once. Why not try, okay? It ain't the end of the world. I didn't make it. That wasn't the first time that I tried to get on Survivor. 
that was just the first time I auditioned live. Okay. The first time I submitted a video, the second time I auditioned live. So we ain't going to give it up. We'll eventually make it on the survivor. Okay. They need Dolly. And even if I don't, I got turtle Island. Thousands of people watch it. It's an awesome game created by the mind of Dolly. So it, it really don't matter either way. I'm a winner on the island anyway, okay? Most of them people on Survivor, they don't got their own fantasy island. Dolly has his own fantasy island. They're hurting themselves by not having me, okay? They didn't want me. I'd win it. They knew that was just like, they might as well gave me the million dollars. At that point, they didn't like, Dolly, here you go. Here's your million dollars. They knew I'd win it, hands down. That's why they didn't want me. They're probably like, yeah, this ain't redneck season, okay? This ain't the redneck season. We, we'll we get you when we need a fucking a dude from the sticks, all right? But anyway, you never know. We'll end up on one of these shows, and Dolly's going to kill it. I'm buying me a Bentley. I'm buying me a Bentley, okay? Really, it's going to be a Chrysler 300, but I, I'm going to act like it's a Bentley. Anyway, guys, I love y'all. I'll see y'all in a couple hours. Dolly's going to go grab him some breakfast, and then I'm going to come back and kick it with you guys. There's some news coverage I want to show. We're going to come back probably later today. We're going to talk about the Michael Vaughn stuff a little bit today. There's some other things I'm going to be doing today. So we got a pretty busy day to rock with you guys. So I'll see you guys sometime right after lunch, maybe 1230-ish. Be there. Even if you don't get a notification, be on the lookout. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.